Last year, I reviewed the TrueConnect True Wireless Earbuds from RHA, which were really impressive. The company has just released the second generation, TrueConnect 2, and I've been testing them out for the past few weeks. RHA have taken the design of the original TrueConnect earbuds and made all-round improvements, including to battery life, connectivity, durability, and audio quality. The second gen earbuds also address a few of the issues I found last year, and yet the TrueConnect 2 come in at £20 cheaper. In this video, we'll be covering all of the specs and features, everything that's changed from last year, and seeing how these compare to the competition. Let's take a look. Taking a look at the design, at first glance you might think nothing has changed, since the case appears to be the same as last year's model. This is still one of the most premium looking and well built cases on the market, with its soft touch finish and aluminium frame, but this remains a big fingerprint magnet too. The minimal design has three LED indicators on the front for battery information, and this is charged by USB-C. The unique and satisfying opening mechanism was designed to be opened with one hand, and gives you easy access to the earbuds. These are held in by magnets, and after removing them from the case, they automatically turn on and connect to the last paired device. The earbuds are sporting the same long stem design and rubberized finish as last year, and appear indistinguishable from the first gen model. The one major design change though is the control scheme and the central multifunction button has been replaced by a capacitive touch surface. This is one of the changes I wanted to see from last year too, because pressing the button to change songs often push the earbud uncomfortably into the ear canal, so the new touch surface fixes this problem. The touchpad is very responsive, to even the lightest of taps, so these were much more convenient and comfortable to use. There is a bit of a learning curve to the controls, especially since skipping tracks is on the left and volume control is on the right, but it's good to see such a comprehensive control scheme. They do use a single tap, so you'll need to be careful of accidental taps, and the one second or so delay it takes to pause your music is a little bit disconcerting. But overall, the controls are a big improvement, and possibly my favourite upgrade over the first gen. The earbud's minimal design and shallow profile provide a discreet look in your ears, the soft touch finish gives them a feeling of premium quality, but also provides extra grip too. The head of the earbud creates a tight seal in the ear, so the audio is more immersive and the passive noise isolation is excellent. I love how much these block out the outside noise, but with this earbud design, I find the ear tips sit quite deep in the ear canal, and if I'm not careful when placing these in my ears, I can push them in too far, which I usually don't find as much of an issue with other earbuds. They do fit securely though, and I find these comfortable to wear even for hours on end. They stay in my ears perfectly when sat at my desk or walking about, but without any kind of wingtips, I wouldn't trust these to stay in my ears during a workout. But how securely these fit will come down to your ear shape, so this may be different for you. You're given a lot of extra ear tip sizes to choose from, but sadly the comply foam tips are no longer included, which was a really great and unique addition with the first gen earbuds. RHA have improved the earbud's durability with a new IP55 rating, so they're still resistant to jets of water, but now have dust protection too. So if you do plan on using these for sports, or get caught out in the rain, the earbuds are fully protected. Another hidden improvement comes with the battery life. Despite keeping the same design and size, RHA have managed to basically double the battery life from last year, which is seriously impressive. They're rated for 9 hours per charge, and a class leading total of 44 hours with the charging case. From my testing, I was averaging just above this, listening at 50% volume, and found equally good performance on iOS and Android. The earbuds offer fast charging too, with a 10 minute charge giving you an hour of playback, or 15 minutes giving you 3 hours. A full charge will take just over an hour, or around 3 hours for the charging case. The charging case is still one of the largest I've used, but these also have the best battery on the market, beating companies like Sony, Sennheiser, Samsung and Apple, so the trade-off is easily worth it. 
connectivity has been improved with a new chipset and new software, which according to RHA, results in 50% greater range. Using Bluetooth 5, the earbuds gave me a really stable connection in my home, including through multiple walls. In terms of latency, there was a slight delay with YouTube videos on iOS devices, but not too much to make them unusable. Netflix and watching videos on Android devices was fine though, so this was a pretty typical and good performance. As part of the new chipset, you can now use either the left or the right earbud on its own, and in fact the earbuds will seamlessly switch between mono and stereo playback as you place the earbud back in the case or take it out. There's still no multipoint, so you can't connect to two devices at the same time, which is a feature some competing earbuds have that I'd still like to see added. But the most unusual omission for me was Aptex or AAC support. Aptex support is rarer to find, but most earbuds support at least AAC, so the codec support is extremely limited. The True Connect 2 now featured two mics on each earbud, one mic at the bottom of the stem to pick up your voice, and the other at the top to detect the background noise and hopefully isolate your voice from it. I'm using the earbuds by a busy road with passing traffic so this should give you an idea of how well the new noise reduction technology works. If I switch over to the original True Connect though, I actually found that these sounded a little louder, so in a quiet room these might sound a bit clearer, but they struggle to isolate my voice from the passing traffic, which highlights the new model's benefit. So for phone calls in louder environments, the True Connect 2 will be better. If I switch again to the AirPods Pro, it should hopefully give you a bit of a reference point since AirPods are generally considered to be the gold standard for phone call quality. Switching back to the True Connect 2, I think these are doing a better job of isolating my voice from that passing traffic. The AirPods do have the best mics in a quiet room, but if you need to isolate your voice from loud background noise, the True Connect 2 performs slightly better. So overall, these are pretty good earbuds to use for phone calls. Moving on now to audio quality, RHA describes the True Connect 2 as having a refined driver, and I can hear a distinct difference from the first gen model. In my original True Connect review, I mentioned that the audio had deep, powerful bass, and it almost seems as though they've taken that peak in the low end frequencies and brought it down to give a much flatter response. The result is more natural sounding audio, and a more balanced sound signature, and the bass definitely doesn't seem as prominent. The bass is still fast and punchy, but not as deep as before so bass heads will want to look elsewhere. For those who like a more realistic listening experience, this will be great, but for me personally, I actually prefer the more bass heavy and warmer tone of the first gen earbuds. I think a classic V-shaped equaliser would really help the audio, and add some dynamism and excitement to an otherwise very flat response, but that's really just to suit the genres of music I listen to and my personal audio preference. These earbuds still sound really good, and provide a clean and pleasant listening experience. One of the audio changes RHA have claimed is increased volume, and that's something I can definitely hear with the new model, and max volume should still be far too loud for most people. So the final thing to talk about is the price, and despite the many improvements from the first generation, the True Connect 2 cut £20 off the starting price and are available for £130 or $150. This places them right at the low end of the flagship priced earbuds, and undercuts competitors like AirPods, Galaxy Buds, and Jabra's Elite 75T. The UK pricing is especially good value, since UK customers these days often don't get any benefit from the dollars to pounds conversion rate. But the True Connect 2 are one of the best priced flagship True Wireless earbuds you can buy right now. The original True Connect earbuds have now been heavily discounted too, so if you can't quite stretch your budget for the new model, these still offer a lot of the same great features, but for a much lower cost. This table here summarises the differences between the two, so hopefully this can help make your decision easier. The improvements made over the first gen earbuds are welcome additions, and the True Connect 2 offer exactly what a second gen product should, but no earbuds are perfect, and a few features still remain on my wish list. Firstly, I'd like to see a transparency feature. You could make an argument here for noise cancelling as well or instead, but the passive noise isolation is already pretty good, so I think a transparency mode would be even more valuable. Second, improvements to connectivity to support more Bluetooth codecs and multipoint. The ability to connect to two devices at the same time is still one of my favourite features. 
And finally, a companion app, which for me is the biggest feature missing. An app can give you extra customization, added features, and future improvements too through software updates. I'd personally love to have a custom EQ. To develop an entire companion app would obviously be a huge task for RHA. It's just that the competition is so fierce now, and this feels like the key aspect that's missing from the earbuds. Overall, I'm really impressed with the TrueConnect 2, and feel as though they really delivered with the improvements made from the first model. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.